It's Stouffer's lasagna. Stouffer's lasagna is probably the most recognizable frozen lasagna in the United States. And for good reason. It's quick to make and delicious. I've always considered lasagna to be a hearty dinner, but I'm curious to know, is Stouffer's lasagna actually good for you? So, to the ingredients list. Firstly, just water. Next, cooked lasagna pasta, which is made from a mixture of water and semolina wheat flour. Next, tomatoes, which are added in the form of tomato paste and tomato juice. Next, citric acid, which is an acidulant. This adds a tartness to lasagna. Next, calcium chloride. This is a mineral that enhances taste, as well as reducing muscle spasms in the body. Next, dry curd cottage cheese. Is cottage cheese without the addition of cream or milk? Cottage cheese itself is milk that has been overheated, causing it to curdle. Next, part skim mozzarella cheeses. This is made from milk, bacteria cultures, salt, and microbial enzymes. Next, dehydrated onions. These are onions that have all the water content removed. Next, salt. There is 900 milligrams of sodium in the smallest size lasagna. If you're curious, that's the 10.5 ounce carton. With the daily recommended intake of salt being 2300 milligrams, it's safe to say there is quite a bit of salt in Stouffer's lasagna. Next, potassium chloride. This is used as a flavor enhancer, often in replacement of salt. It is generally regarded as safe by the FDA. Next, autolyzed yeast extract. It is perfectly healthy, but should be avoided in those that are gluten intolerant. For the rest of us, it's an excellent source of vitamin B. Next, spices. Dried spices include oregano and basil, which add a distinctive Italian flavor to lasagna. Next, garlic powder. Garlic powder is made from the dehydrated veggie written in the name. It's simple and safe to eat. Next, lactic acid, which is a natural preservative that is developed by bacteria cultures. It's perfectly safe to consume. Next, calcium lactate is a food additive used to stabilize and thicken foods. Next, dextrose. This is a simple sugar often found in corn syrup. Similar to traditional sugar, eating too much of dextrose can increase blood sugar levels. And lastly, soy sauce, which is made up of salt, water, wheat, soybeans, and a fermenting agent. Soy sauce tends to add a salty, savory, and umami flavor. So there you have it. Was Stouffer's lasagna any better or worse than you expected? Leave your comments down below and subscribe. And be sure to check out the playlist on the channel for more of the food and drinks you know, love, and consume on a regular basis. <laughs>